So what the heck is this Merkaba thing that everybody's talking about and why do I need to know about it for my ascension? Well, let's get into that right now. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today I'm just going to give a quick treatment here on what a Merkaba is. So essentially when people are throwing this term around and they're talking about it, of course there are people out there who go way more in depth with describing it. Drumvalo Melchizedek is one of those people. You need to check out his books, check out his videos. I can't explain it the way he does, but here's the thing. It is your light body, your ascension vehicle, or it's thought to be. It is a sacred geometric shape, yes, a, a part of the, the layout of the universe kind of encased around you. And it's basically two tetrahedrons. One is inverted and one is upright. <laughs> I sit here and play with this all day, but that's what that is right there. And this essentially is, it's a star tetrahedron that is the duality aspects, right? So the feminine and the masculine, if you want to see it that way, or any kind of, anything that needs to be balanced within your human aspect, right? So what this does is, in my mind, it helps you start to integrate who you are as a spiritual being with who you are as a human. And so there's not so much separation there. It sort of bridges any gaps in your duality. And when it is ignited, activated, spinning properly, I feel like, well, we get into Metatron's cube where you do like a repair and a clearing of your energy, but this starts to get going. And this will, as I'm hearing from Metatron now, will activate your higher mind. And this will help you in your integration start to expand and start to experience things that are beyond what you could have experienced before. Now, this is not a good enough reason to activate the Merkaba because you want to have weird experiences. <laughs> I mean, you do you, I don't know. But it's very important for us to start getting into that place where we start honoring that part of us and nurturing it. As I said, Drumvalo Melchizedek definitely explains it a lot better than I do. But this is an important part of our our ascension process. This is an important part of our expanded awareness and for us to be activated enough to be at that level where we can start kind of connecting with one another because the people who have already activated this, these are people who, uh, among other things on your ascension process, but you know, these are people who are not going to engage in gossip, for example. Okay. I know they're getting away from like the base nature of their humanness and they're integrating the more spiritual aspect. And it doesn't make them better than anybody. Let's all calm down with that, right? <laughs> it doesn't make them better. It just means that they're going to see through a clearer lens. So how does that work out? Let's bring it down to earth here. How does that work out in a practical sense? Let's say you work in an, a corporate environment where there are rumors, there's gossip, and maybe some of those rumors are super heavy and toxic and maybe it's aimed at you. I've experienced that. And everyone just believes it and it just tears you down. Well, someone who is activated, they're gonna stay steady. They're gonna see it for what it is. Yeah, they'll stay out of it, but they might be able to pierce through whatever is occurring, like very quickly be able to pierce through whatever's happening and see the truth of the situation. And yes, as I said, they'll move away from it. Or, you know, you're, thinking about your life's path and purpose. And you're like, gosh, as a human being, I should be doing X, Y, and Z. You activate this part of you, this part of you that exists all around you. And now you're taking a different perspective and you're saying, you know what? It's not so important for me to be known for something. It's much more important that I carry a beautiful presence and a divine grace and to be a carrier, a conduit for that kind of energy. So it's okay to go this direction where they might not have so much glory or <laughs> be famous or whatever. It's better to go that way and be in an environment where I can maintain my energy and continue on my ascension process rather than going over here, which is gonna tear me down. I'm gonna have to constantly fight for my integrity. Give this some time and attention, meditate, See what that feels like. What does your Merkaba feel like around you? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.
拜。